Hey, it's Jen Thoden with YourColorStyle.com and welcome to another episode of Wednesday Q&A. In this video, we're going to talk about bright versus soft and most specifically about bright. Now, another viewer had asked me to start a series on the different terminology that's kind of thrown out there in the color analysis world. And so I, I, I kind of considered this one part of that series, even if it's not official just yet, because we're going to talk about the word clear or bright or clear chroma because you hear them everywhere in the seasons you hear the words bright spring clear spring bright winter clear winter um, there's a, probably other fancier names by people who adopted the seasonal system and just put their own twist on things okay in the your color style system i keep it a little bit simpler i use the word bright okay and and so let's talk about that what does that mean when we see, when we see the words clear and bright and that kind of a thing especially when we're talking about colors that we're going to wear and colors that we see everywhere a color uh, a hue if you will has a level of chroma so if it has high chroma or i should say clear chroma it means that the color is pure nothing's been added to it so just imagine yellow yellow is a great example imagine a pure yellow it's probably very bright it's very you know sunshiny and it it's pure it has a clear chroma so as soon as you add anything to the clear pure chroma color you change its chroma to something that's more muted it is less clear and pure. So if you add white to a pure color, you're going to lighten it, but also slightly bring the chroma down and mute it a tiny bit. If you add black to the color, you're going to darken it and also at the same time soften it a little bit, changing the chroma. If you add its complements, which is the color opposite of the color wheel, in the example of yellow, that would be purple. The more purple you add, the browner and grayer the color becomes, very muddy, and you change the chroma again. You change those properties of that color. So when we talk about uh, bright versus soft um, in, in the color palettes, what we're saying is, is that the bright color palette started out pure. It started out with a very clear, clear chroma for all the colors in that color palette. And then white was added to lighten and black was added to darken. When we look at a color palette that uh, is labeled soft in your color style, those colors started out grayed. They were already muted some. They're kind of dusty and dirty. Pure yellow is more of a dusty, um, kind of a dirty looking yellow. It looks like some dirt was thrown into it, okay? And there's dusty oranges and soft reds. All those colors start out soft to start out muted the chroma is less okay we can say 75 percent versus 100 percent maybe then you add black to darken and white to lighten to get that full color palette all right so that's how uh, you can think about these colors so when we think about an individual now okay when we label someone um, a bright or clear color type what we're saying is is that those that person can wear those clear chroma colors better and best than someone who might be overpowered by these colors. So one of the questions I had gotten in relation to this topic was that they, using the color analysis cards, they were able to figure out if they had warm undertones and cool undertones, but they really couldn't figure out bright or soft. Sometimes it's hard to tell because you could wear a bright color and feel really good in it and love it, um, but that, does that mean you're bright? Does it, does it not? What, it, what does that mean exactly? And so the best guidance that I can give you is as a general rule, if you were to wear the brightest color, the most pure color, let's, let's use a universal color, like a bright blue or a bright red, and when you wear that color, what do you see first? Do you see the color? Or do you see, wow, I, I, really, I feel really good in this color. I look really good in this color. People tell you you look good in this color. You can also think of it uh, as lipstick. It's not always a true rule here, but the same thing. If you can wear a bright lipstick, even if it's something you wouldn't wear because of your personality or you don't prefer it, but you could wear it. It's, uh, it just it, it looks right. It doesn't look painted. It just really brightens you up. 
then you probably can wear those brighter colors. There are also individuals that simply cannot, and it's so obvious that they can't. You, you wear it and you're like, oh, you look painted. That doesn't look right on you at all. Something's off. I can't figure out what it is. And it's usually because the, the color is too bright for that person, okay? Now, it's never ever just a uh, black and white rule. There's, it's never just a hard rule because I have met some individuals that mostly wear soft muted colors best, but can totally pull off a brighter red or a brighter yellow. Okay, so really everybody's personality comes into play and just your individual coloring comes into play because you may not always be obvious. Now, for the people that are obviously bright and clear, those are the people that have bright, sparkly eyes, bright, shiny hair. They may have high contrast to their skin and their hair, like very pale skin and very, very deep hair, that high contrast, like a snow white type of effect is someone who's gonna wear, wear bright colors. Someone who's got bright eyes can wear bright colors. Bright, shiny, naturally bright, shiny hair can wear bright colors. Again, not always obvious, but again, it's it comes down to what feels most in harmony with you. And if you're wearing something that's soft and muted and it feels kind of draining, it's probably because it's too muted, try going brighter, okay? So again, chroma is the clarity, the purity of a color. The more clear it is, the brighter it is, and the more grayed and muted it is, the lower the chroma. So if you hear that word chroma, if you hear the words bright or clear, that's what that means. So I hope that helps. I hope if you're someone that's kind of trying to figure out should you be wearing bright colors? I hope that helps out. There's more information if you go to yourcolorstock.com, including a quiz that can help you also get closer to the colors that will look best on you. I'm Jen Thoden. Thanks for watching.